want user-generated content, you have to remind people to give you user-generated content. Hey everybody, it's Jay Bear with another Jay Today, where I give you a piece of my mind three minutes at a time, coming to you live today from Annapolis, Maryland, a fantastic location, doing some speaker training for the next uh, three days, working on the new Hug Your Haters uh, presentation, which I'll be rolling out uh, this fall. I just got back a couple days ago from vacation in uh, Portugal, as I mentioned, had a fantastic time out there. And, you know, one of the things that I thought was really interesting is that Portugal has really, really embraced user-generated content and user reviews. I saw stickers for TripAdvisor all over uh, Portugal. They're really, really big on TripAdvisor there and also other forms of user-generated content. Now, Nielsen has said that 47% of Americans trust advertising from companies, yet 92% of Americans trust recommendations from friends and family members. Facebook, of course, also gives more credence to posts that come from real people as opposed to businesses. If you want to succeed in social media going forward, you have to, at some level, get a circumstance set up where your business is having real people tell your story instead of you telling your story. And everybody wants user-generated content. There's all kinds of photo contests and you know, post this on Instagram and all that. But what I don't see often enough, especially in, in travel and tourism businesses, is reminding customers, nudging them to create that user-generated content. I was in um, the Algarve, which is a, a, a southern Portugal uh, on the ocean kind of resort destination last week and went miniature golfing uh, with the family and our friends. I have some fancy pants uh, European miniature golf place, very, very cool, called the Family Golf Center. Not the best name, not terribly creative, but the Family Golf Center. But what was amazing about the Family Golf Center in a relatively small area of Portugal is that on every single hole, every single hole of the course, they had a sign right at the tee box that said, here's who we are on Facebook, here's who we are on Instagram, here's the hashtags we want you to use, 36 whole course, 36 different signs. I mean, that's a legitimate investment just in signage, but it's so, so smart. If you want user-generated content from real people, and you do, you need to remind them, you need to nudge them, you need to pull it out of them, not just assume that they're going to create it for you. A great lesson from Portugal. I hope you uh, can get a sense of that from the photo that uh, we showed just a second ago. Today's Sprout Social shout out is for uh, Rohit Bargava. Uh, Rohit's a fantastic guy, a uh, brilliant author. His new book, Non-Obvious, I can't recommend highly enough. He's out here doing speaker training as well. You should absolutely follow Rohit in social media and take a look at his new book. It's terrific. As always, the show, the J Today Show, live here from Annapolis, Maryland, is brought to you by Sprout Social, SproutSocial.com. It's what I use for my own social media, terrific mobile app as well, which is very helpful. And the show is brought to you by Candidio. They help make these videos a success. I just shoot these on my iPhone. They do the rest. They can do the same for you. Candidio.com. Until tomorrow, I am Jay Bear. This has been J Today. Thanks for 